initially we came to repair this roof and I thought it was repairable but after, after we got started it was not. So if you look at it, somebody came and they installed a torch down roof. You can see every three feet is a seam. There's a seam, and there's a seam, and there's a seam. So that's a torch down roof. So what happened is after they installed it, it started leaking. This is this roof is only four years old, the surface. So then they put a coat of tar or some asphalt coating over it. So what you see is some asphalt coating. Let me explain. There's some asphalt coating over the torch down. So they tried to seal it with that. Well, that failed. Then they tried to do a silicon seal. Here's the silicon seal. And that is a disaster. They went over a stone, and that's fine, over a gravel stone roof. Let me show you. Yeah, yes, gravel. Let me show you. So they went over this stone, uh, these stones, gravel uh, hot tar roof, okay? That is fine if you do that. But they raked off and took off all the loose stone. And when you do that, you're creating an uneven surface. The stone is what you use to get it nice and smooth, the loose stone, and you rake it and get it nice and smooth. And then you put your fiberboard over it. This fiber, this is the fiberboard. See the fiberboard? That's what you put over a loose, over a roof with stone or gravel with it. But you don't rake off and, and because the, the hot tar roof is with a stone embedded gets uneven and then explain something. The idea is not to take the stone off because then you get this uneven uh, uneven tar that's boiled up like this. You don't want that. So what you do is you spread the stone they have it all piled up in the middle here and we spread it all over the like this and when we spread it we break it so you get a fairly you see that what they try to do is they try to build it up many times let me show you so they they added this layer and they add another layer and there's a stone so <clears throat> It's a disaster. The way it's so spongy and soft and uneven, it feels like a... I cannot believe people do that. But here's a very interesting thing. A hot tar roof was installed probably 30 years ago over a torch down roof. I've never seen that. These torch down roofs has existed for over 40 years. And it is an amazing, amazing surface so we're going to use the torch down roof that's underneath the hot tar to do our roofing which is going to attach to it so let me show you what it looks like here's the old roof now you can tell it's smooth and it's beautiful it's a very even surface this doesn't matter to see gouges and and nail holes and screw holes that's not that doesn't concern me I just want the surface, it's a wonderful, beautiful surface to do torch down. You torch to an uh, old torch down roof, it's unbelievable. So we're stripping everything off, we, we keep the old copper, let me show you the copper. We keep the old copper, that's beautiful, okay? We don't want to uh, destroy the copper. We keep the scuppers, let me show you the scupper. <coughs> scuppers. See the scuppers? Now, very, very, very nice scuppers. Look at it. Copper work is beautiful. We cannot beat that. Try to get the dumpster as close as possible to uh, save the time of throwing things on the ground and then in the dumpster. So I made a plywood uh, chute here so it can be easily. Also, the roof leak. Look how wet it is here. Let me show you. See? Okay, so 
we're doing this entire roof. Should get it done in about three days. We only have three people here. Hard to get laborers nowadays. I think um, Trump's uh, policies is working good because everybody has jobs and you cannot find anybody random, randomly like as used to. So <clears throat> to come and help. Extra laborers are hard to find. So I got these three guys now for the but um, I told the people this is going to cost him this much and um, they accept it and I'm giving them the best roof they can ever get. There's no two ways about us. And that's how I like to do things. My son helping me. He is. Let me check. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, all roof USA. <laughs> all right. So. He just stopped by quickly to, to see what his dad is doing. And so, hey, that's what family is about. We help each other. And uh, he's taking the leader header off quickly so I can lower it. Okay. So we're expecting rain this afternoon. So I got about three hour window here to do this channel. So that's what I'm doing. This channel, get the water off the roof and hopefully I get more time to do other things, but this roof is almost done. So I lowered this cupboard on this end. We got the plywood in. This is the most difficult scupper, uh, that, um, channel to make. When you go at an angle, when you go at an angle with the roof, you're going ac across uh, beams, rafters, and it's very, very hard to do. You almost, it's a carpenter's job. So, but I did it. We had an angle here. We got from the low point. This is the low point right there. And all the way there. So now we're going to line it out. And we're going to torch this because they forecast rain in the next hour. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is my base. Oh, okay. That's it. That's it. Very enough. Okay, good. To the other side. I have to do really fast. So, okay. okay. There's my liner. We are in a panic mode. Yeah, it's going to rain. Okay, rain. Just got started. It's now ready. Now, beautiful. So I'm gonna do a push this and stuff. Okay. All right. So we're gonna. I'm gonna let the camera go because I don't. So now, that's what the dumpster looks like. We're almost done. Thirty-yard dumpster full of uh, debris of two roofs that previous roofers has done, and absolutely a disaster. Now, this is my last day here. We're almost done. Um, uh, things that you want to look on a roof. You don't want huge pooling water on a roof. So that's what I always try to, to avoid. But to get the water off, I have to sometimes go to extreme measures. And what I did was I created channels. Let me show you. So we had a thunderstorm last night, huge thunderstorm. And we got here this morning, and this is what it looks like. <clears throat> Not much water. A little bit of water standing like this is okay because this will dry up in a day. But the whole roof, there's almost no water on this roof. You can see it's wet everywhere, but there's no water on the whole roof. But me, there used to be a huge puddle around this chimney. I don't know if I have a video of it. And I had to fill this up and then there used to be a drain in this area, right here, it used to be a drain. Uh, Ricardo, bring me the drain that was here. You took it? Mm -hmm. The drain that was here, bring it for me. Was a piece of plywood was installed over uh, everything. 
So I took the drain up, I cut the drain from the pipe. So this pipe goes out to the side here, okay? I'm gonna show you. It goes to that side, all the way underneath here. And then it exits to this couple here. Okay, let me show you. First of all, the pipe is too long. If debris comes through, it gets stuck here. This pipe should be shorter. And then, if you see this caulking there, it's just caulked. This is not gonna, the seal's not gonna hold. And I removed the drain and I installed this uh, channel and a scupper. There's a cutout. I got my opening. It's about five inches of opening for this copper. Here to the base. That melted. And then uh, get that in there. Nice, nice and flat. One water to run off, and then melt this. Taking the water off off this roof, very efficient. Very efficient. This is how you make a a channel. We're not done yet, but um, that's where you make a channel down to a scupper. So the water was sitting here. And now there was a drain here, but the drain was not very effective. So um. We uh, made a channel instead. That's it. Okay, so you? Okay, let me explain something. Most people, they want to build the roof off and they add more uh, fiberboard or insulation or whatever to build the roof up. I don't believe that's the right way. I prefer to make channels. It takes a little bit longer, costs maybe a little bit more, but at the end, it's a much better system. Let me, I'll show you another channel I made. Um, let me show. Building this roof up and making it, 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 it's much better to make a channel. There's a channel there. And, it, and it's getting the water off, okay? There's another channel on this side of the roof. Let me show you. So, I prefer I prefer channels than building uh, uh, sections up where it's poorly. If it's, uh, I always try to do that. So anyway, this roof came out very nice. There are very few roofs in a whole country that is like this roof. This is a two layer modified torch down roof. When I say two layers, two layers of membrane fused together. There is no other roof that can come close to that. Not in EPDM, not in TPO, in any system. No roofing system can come close close to a two membranes fused together. This is two layers. It's almost uh, over a quarter. It's almost half an inch thick. Some places more than half an inch thick because I've added more layers. Anyway, this is the final part of the video on this roof. The channels, which is very important. No pooling water. <coughs> you see? No pooling water. And um, a roof well done. Now, see there's my, we're cleaning up, making sure everything is clean. And we still have to do the edging here. There, this is the edging that's almost done. We should. We should be out of here in the next three hours. Anyway, just want to say please subscribe.
or like all those things that you do on YouTube I'm not always familiar with it please do that um, it helps me and um, that is the end of this roofing uh, video of this roof and check the channel I'll run you through the channel let me see let's go yeah and the water gets down right in there